right, this is a Fox News alert. Congressman Devin Nunes, he has now filed just earlier tonight a multi-million dollar federal racketeering lawsuit against Fusion GPS. The congressman, along with Fox News contributor Sarah Carter, join, join me now with more. Congressman, let's talk about this. Uh, that we now know that, or you're accusing them of literally working with the Campaign for Accountability to derail your investigation, and secondly, uh, other issues. Tell us about it. Well, thanks, Sean, and you've done a great job covering this over the last two and a half years. As many people know, uh, I was often smeared. Uh, and now what we know is there's a link between those who are doing the smearing and Fusion GPS. Fusion GPS has a long career in this. They have a long record of this. Remember, they work for the Russian government or oligarchs of the Russian government to smear an American named Bill Browder. Most people know about the Steele dossier and working to smear the Trump campaign. When we were investigating Fusion GPS, they were actively involved in working to smear me to obstruct justice, to derail our investigation. And so, you know, I'm going to hold these guys accountable, and this is just one of many steps that we continue to take because we have to go to the courts. Just like Jay Sekulow was saying, we have to go to the courts. It's our third branch of government. We're going to have to rely on them to fix a lot of this mess. What do you think when, when Special Counsel Mueller didn't know who Fusion GPS was, nor did he know Jeannie Ray once worked for Clinton? Sarah's laughing. It's funny <laughs> in one way, but it's not funny in a big way. Yeah. Right. Well, look, the reason, the reason why uh, he didn't know, because he wasn't really engaged in this investigation the whole time. Uh, and this is part of the reason why we have to go to the courts. We know that we spent $40 million, roughly, uh, investigating the Trump campaign, but at the end of the day, we don't have anything to show for it. We don't know many of the players that were involved in the Russia investigation, and to not know who Fusion GPS is, you know, give me a break. This is why the courts are going to have to come in and clean this up, and this is why people like me who have the ability to do this have to take these cases to court so that we can pull out more information because ultimately people have to be held accountable. And I don't think we can rely on just on the Department of Justice individuals who are out there or groups who are out there uh, need to take these cases individually to court. You know, Sarah, I saw your piece today. The Senate must hold the, the investigative hearing. Top Obama officials need to be held accountable. When you right. couple that with what Jay Sekulow was saying, along with Comey lied. There's, there's no ambiguity here because he verified mm -hmm. the dossier was true. It was the bulk of information to apply for those FISA warrants. He signed off on them three times. In the interim between two of them, he told Donald Trump that it was not verified uh, and denied that Trump was actually being investigated when he knew better because he was leading that investigation. And he also lied when he said he doesn't spy because that warrant allows spying. Right. We need the Senate to conduct an investigation alongside what John Durham is doing right now, the U.S. attorney, and William Barshon. It's the only way the American public is going to get to the truth. So the only place that we can have a hearing right now is in the Senate. I mean, uh, Senator Lindsey Graham can hold a hearing with the Judiciary, uh, the Senate Judiciary Committee. It's powerful. He can do this now. We can also look at uh, Chuck Grassley, Senator Grassley. And as far as Fusion GPS is concerned, Sean, they are the epicenter, the epicenter of what I call a soft coup on the president of the United States. Absolutely what Devin Nunes is doing right now, the congressman is doing the right thing by suing them because they are going to have to give up information. And this appears to be the only way is by suing people like this and, court and companies, this private entity which was working with the Russians. We know they were connected to Prevazon Holding. We know they were connected to Natalia Veselnitskaya, we, which was the Russian attorney, remember, that went to go meet with uh, Don Jr. Uh, so we know that all of this was happening. And of course, course, Christopher Steele. And we also know that Comey isn't telling the truth, like you said, as well as John Brennan, James Clapper, Samantha Power, oh, yeah. who unmasked 300 Susan people, Susan Rice, all and of these Barack people. Obama. Need, right, Barack they Obama all need had to be to, held accountable. This would have been his counterintelligence uh, investigation. Congressman, right. we're expecting the Pfizer report from the inspector general. Uh, to me, anything short of these warrants were illegally obtained, premeditated fraud. They were warned. We've chronicled it. They were unverifiable. Its author doesn't stand behind it. The FBI finally determined themselves it wasn't true, but that was long after they signed the warrant. Should have been ahead of time. 
between that FISA report, premeditated fraud on the court, and the Durham report, do you believe that we will see equal justice under the law and equal application of our laws? And do you think these figures we talk about will, in fact, face indictment and possible convictions? Well, you know that we've sent over criminal referrals. What I would focus on is conspiracy because because I think that's the really the You're law. You're saying conspiracy so you have to get in the criminal the sense that so people know in the legal sense. Cons conspiracy in the criminal sense and Greg Jarrett's explained it very well in your show many times, but you know they defrauded the US, they lied to the FISA court, uh, they they uh, abused Carter Page his his rights. So there's there's lots of laws that that were broken that can fit under conspiracy and it's about putting all of that together in a package. Well, what but our I have to tell you intelligence Sarah Carter, agencies what she just were our allied intelligence agencies used to spy on Americans and a sitting president or president elect or presidential well, of course candidate? They were. We, I mean, of course we, yeah, we, I mean, we know that. I mean, that was the whole, I mean, that was the whole point of us putting out the information when they were spying on Carter Page that was used to go after the Trump campaign. But I will tell you, it's, it's going to take everyone working together in this, all, all the American people that want to get to the truth. This is why it's so important that that lawsuits are brought to the courts, okay? So you see that with, it's Judicial Watch, it's, it's what we're doing, uh, it's what Jay Sekulow is doing. All of this <coughs> has to happen in order to pull this information out because as you know, the deep state is very good at hiding things. And so in order to get at it, you have to work every day to pull back pieces of this onion. Well, last That's question, right. Sarah Carter, if the warrants were illegally obtained and they outsource spying on Americans and a presidential candidate transition and president, then the question is, uh, who's going to be held accountable here? And, you know, I hear it's going to be devastating. If those warrants were illegally obtained and they were warned, it was premeditated lying to a FISA court to obtain those warrants, and then we outsource something that would circumvent American law to spy on American citizens, you know, the, you know, what would happen to Hannity test is Hannity goes to jail. Uh, or what would happen Anybody to any American would... citizen, they'd go to jail. That's right. Anybody would go to jail, Sean. And what we're seeing now, and I, I like the use of the word conspiracy in the legal sense, because what we've seen is a vast network, not only spying overseas, but spying within the White House, which is what the ACLJ is looking into and what Devin Nunes is looking into, which is Fusion GPS being at the epicenter of all of this. And I'd like to know what John Brennan knows. I'd like to know when he knew about that dossier, if he leaked that dossier to people in the Gang of Eight um, in particular, and how far that web spread because once we know those answers we will know who to indict and who to charge and I'm sure that is exactly what John Durham is doing all right thank you both I'd like to send an invitation to Jim Comey tonight Mr. Super Patriot I'll give you the full hour on this show to explain unverified salacious and verified on top of a FISA warrant both before and after you lied to the president